In this next four minutes, over half a billion real emails will be sent and received by real people. Just way too much email is just one reason why my mission is to help the world's, uh, to improve many lives by helping the world's busiest people better manage their time and their inbox. My idea to share today is to help in-demand leaders all the rising stars trying to get hold of them, and the charities loved by both sides. So with time, where would leaders welcome help? Many try to force fit their to-do list on an urgent and important matrix, but are left confused about how to allocate their time and always feel like they're, worried, they're, they're working in the wrong box. A more powerful picture of prioritization is the jar of time filled with rocks, pebbles, and sand. Placed in the jar in the right order, we can fit everything in, reminding us to focus on the big things in life first. Drawing two curves on top of the original matrix, and I think we see the area where we can help. Not with the rocks in the top right. Leaders spend most of their time there already. And not with the sand in the bottom left. They know what they don't value, and they don't waste time on it. They need help with the pebbles in the middle ground, a large part of their inbox competing for a small part of their time. Helping these deserving inquiries can be useful, fun, and give life meaning like mentoring or new business pitches. So the service is just built. How could valuing this middle ground work? Consider Christiana Figueres, a wonderful force of nature who led the world through to the climate talks in Paris. Her inbox middle ground is full of good new ideas from rising stars in her field, like Robbie. Unfortunately for Robbie, he's not alone and just needing a few minutes to discuss his proposal. So, now with the new service in place, Christiana can give Robbie and everyone else with a good idea something to do. So he sent her private profile, and he sees clearly what she wants to talk about and when she's available. And he, he selects to buy a raffle ticket for new ideas on Skype. With the ticket proceeds split, 70% to the charity of Christiana's choice, and 20% to his own, picked from a long list of health, education, environment, and more. If he wins, he's delighted, and he prepares hard, boosting the quality of the meeting for both of them. If he loses, well, at least he knows where he stands, and he's avoided no-reply limbo. So could this work for a leader in any field? Deborah Kalmeyer, founder and CEO of travel company Roar Africa, always prioritizes her clients. So she, she sends her private profile to her inbox middle ground. Good ideas again, coming from American agencies wanting to work on her website and African companies wanting to work on her trips. So if I'm an African tour guide, I see for $20 fixed donation, I can squeeze onto her calendar guaranteed, and I go for it. Because I'm just as passionate about the South African College of Tourism for Girls as she is, 90% of my money can go to them. After I donate, then Deborah sends me some times when she's more than happy to chat. So she's very transparent on her priorities. She keeps an eye open for new opportunities. And more girls can graduate from the college. So this experience has improved many lives. The leader can answer all her emails and, manage, and, and better engage with her inbox, saving her and her team time and helping her favorite charity. The rising stars, all them trying to get hold, hold of her, now know where they stand, save their own time, and help their own, uh, uh, help their own charity. And charities are the new beneficiaries of this exchange, raising money and awareness from a host of leaders, including their own high-profile supporters. So I've started working with some very busy leaders, um, at, at working with some busy leaders, and I found the project's inbuilt irony, how difficult it is for leaders to really take the time to think about time. But um, the harder it is to capture their attention, the bigger the impact I think we can have in the long run. Our time on this earth is fleeting and enormously precious. If you're busy and in demand, then consider how valuing some of your time for good could transform many lives, including your own. Thank you.